Here are the Apocopop 10 best moments on Mr. Morale and the Big Steppers. 10. The album features a lot of introspective, highly personal lyrics, including on the closing track. Even its title is a nod to Kendrick's mindful morning ritual of patiently studying himself in the mirror. The two discs are separated by a kind of mirror line, marking Kendrick's self-reflection before and after therapy. 9. On Mr. Morale, lyrics about fighting demons and coping with trauma are complemented by the music. The intro contains claustrophobic breathing over a pulsating bass and an ominous synth harp. This part owes its distinctive sound to the one semitone interval that begins the Phrygian mode. 8. At the start of Crown, Kendrick's vocal performance sounds restrained and decidedly downbeat. Likewise, the bass of Deval Timothy's minimalist piano accompaniment sticks mostly to two notes. But this changes when the chorus arrives, as harmonic movement counters the repeated line, I can't please everybody. 7. Half a minute into We Cry Together, we hear the hammering of high, discordant piano notes. This heralds the conflict that follows, a domestic argument acted out by Kendrick and Taylor Page. Taylor flaunts her dramatic range with tearful voice breaks, weary dismissals and vicious clapbacks. 6. Almost all rap is built on 4 bar units, but true to its name, Count Me Out adds things up differently. First one inserts an extra bar, smoothed out by backing vocals and a brief change in harmonic rhythm. This 5 bar approach returns in the outro, which ends with Kendrick obsessing over a triplet motif. 5. When Kendrick enters 30 seconds into Father Time, we might be expecting a beat to join him. But initially, we get a psychedelic Hoskins and Crowd sample, reversed as if a wish to turn back time. Along the same theme, the track opens with strings emulating the tick-tock of a clock as time passes. 4. The message of anti-diaries may be clumsily executed, but its production is very effective. There are plenty of neat touches, like the jazzy instrumental run on the mention of streetlights. And the sound design makes great use of panning, from percussion to passing bleeps and drones. 3. Kendrick's partner, Whitney Alford, uses tap dancing as a symbol for avoiding difficult topics. The history of tap dancing is bound up with racism, taking in slave ships, plantations and minstrel shows. An offshoot called Stepping was born when black student veterans drew on aspects of military drills. The big steppers on N95 carry the weight of black generational trauma, but seek solace in material goods and macho posturing. 2. Near the start of United in Grief, tap dancing and Whitney's urging to tell the truth give way to a piano. We hear two major chords a semitone apart, a progression that's reminiscent of Radiohead circa 2000. So are a few other flourishes, the burbling synth, the reverse snare, and the strings sliding out of tune. If you haven't already, remember to like and subscribe. Here's the final entry in our countdown. 1. Four and a half minutes into the epic Mother I Sober, the album approaches its emotional peak. Kendrick's slow burn delivery ruptures into anger at pain experienced within the black community. Background vocals, sustained strings, and a busy piano line crescendo into a climactic, cathartic cry. This is transformation. Let us know your favourite moment on Mr. Morale and the Big Steppers. Take a look at the Apocopop 10 playlist for more albums, including Channel Orange by Frank Ocean, and consider supporting the channel on Patreon. See you next time.